let's just say hypothetically someone for the last 15 years ate 98% of their meals, meal prep, out of these black plastic containers. If someone was to do that and worked out, and took the right supplements and really prioritized living a healthy lifestyle. But again, 98 for 15 years, that's a long time. Not to mention the fact that normally this person drinks water, a gallon of water a day out of a actual plastic container. What could you actually expect to see on that person's blood panels? So they would have a normal blood. Do you know anybody yes. who fit that criteria? <laughs> As your personal doctor who reviews your labs regularly, you have an impeccable lab. There's no hormonal issues, liver, kidney function. I mean, every aspect of your lab is impeccable. People will focus on a minutia aspect when there are way bigger problems in their life that they completely ignore. You know, the person that is complaining of microplastic, you know, had Pop-Tarts in the morning, they're having their Diet Coke, they have their fast food, they're smoking cigarettes. Now, mind you, we do know that what you use is BPA-free, mm -hmm. so that is a, is a significant factor. Most meal prep company do not use BPA-free yeah, containers. Yeah, because of cost. Yeah. As far as plastics go, first, you use BPA-free. Second, when you generally live a healthy lifestyle, that is the last bit of concern that, you know, someone should be worried about. Agreed.